adventures. Are you ready for some Friday night fun? Because I am. <sighs> I need to talk to you people. <laughs> Hi, Jill. Good to see you. Hi, Marianne. I'm so glad that you guys are here. Give me one minute to adjust the camera so you guys can see better. There we go. Hey, Jessica. Hey, Ken. Lisa B. Kathy Gibbs, good to see you. How you feeling? Hi, Robin. <sighs> I am working on these geese down here. These gooses. Hey, D. Baker. We're going to have some fun. Aw, painkillers. Can I borrow some? <laughs> Hi, Cat Loves Books. So good to hear from you. Alrighty, which color should I start on? This red with green dots is kind of irritating me as far as the symbol, so we're going to go there first. Hey, look, it's Red Hat Society. <laughs> I know, Yvonne, that's how I have felt. You had surgery yesterday, D. Baker. They let you have surgery. I hope it went well and that you're doing okay. I'm so sorry to hear that you're in pain. I, um, I say I threw my back out, but I don't know how I threw it out, but I have a lot of trouble moving right now. Um, woke up, was it yesterday? I don't know, all my days are running together might have been Wednesday and just could not move literally could not move I made a Facebook post that I did not need toilet paper because I couldn't turn to wipe my butt <laughs> oh good I'm glad you're enjoying your colored pencils Rajul hey so has the wedding happened yet Hey Kathleen, good to see you. No problem, Jessica. Work and lurk away. Well, Dee, I'm glad everything is fixed up and you can heal and relax and hopefully the pain will die down quickly so that that does not stop you from enjoying your home and your social distancing. <laughs> oh, we have an amazing neighborhood Facebook page and they posted at four o'clock today, there was a beer gathering and they sent a picture and they were all six feet away from each other, bundled up, talking to one another, drinking their beverages. It was so funny. Oh, hey, Jamie, good to see you. I'm so sorry, Rajul. Oh, I have just been thinking of everybody, all the seniors in college and high school who everything that they've looked forward to is being canceled and all the weddings. And I have a dear friend whose husband just was diagnosed with stage four liver and he had a stroke and he's in the ICU and he's all alone and they will not let his wife come and visit because of everything that's going on and so all through today I've been Facebooking with her and just you know trying to be a good friend and be there for her so it's it's a real struggle you know, but we're in this together and we just need to keep remembering that and keep remembering to love each other, uplift each other and support each other, right? And find new inventive ways of 
spending time together and really enjoying company. <laughs> G Faker says she figures it was perfect timing for surgery since she has to social distance herself. <laughs> Kathleen is working on Frenchie from Dreamer Designs. Ooh. Kathy, oh, she's celebrating. She was able to find toilet paper yesterday. Crashly, hey, welcome. She's here, but she's making pens. <laughs> hey, Susan, good to see you. And then Suzanne, good evening, welcome. You guys are so amazing. I, oh, I love my family, and we are spending some good quality time talking together. But sometimes it's, yeah, I know I'm driving my husband crazy. He normally works from home, and we are all home in his space. And then I've been working from home, and my poor daughter has been extra responsible <coughs> in um, working with her schoolwork. And we called it home economics. She uh, made muffins earlier this week, and... She's taking the dog on the walk, and so we're calling that gym class, and <laughs> it's just, it's, it's been a roller coaster of a ride, but we are still here kicking. Cat loves books, says yes, her brother-in-law is in the hospital, his kidneys are not functioning, and now he's in heart failure, and his, Cat loves books, can your sister and family go see him now? Let's send some hearts up for Cat Loves Books. Oh my goodness. That is just so hard. Jamie is waiting for her hula can from AliExpress. Kathy's coloring in her color Morphia. Okay. Well, thank, I'm just very thankful, Cat, that um, they're allowing your family to go see him. I've had several people who couldn't even have a funeral. It was a digital funeral um, because of what's going on. And I think it just depends on what hot spot you're in and the leadership of your town and, and different things like that. And so that's why I'm so glad I'm live tonight and we can chit chat and talk and oh my goodness, you guys got to go check out my GenTube video. I was talking about my toilet paper hoarding recovery period, and this is not good for it. This is definitely a trigger. But last night, my husband and I went out to Costco, which is one of the big warehouse stores, and we're able to buy some toilet paper. And we had plenty already, but I was just like hyperventilating over the idea. And so now we have some. My next investigation is finding Clorox wipes, um, just to kind of keep keep the germs down. So I got some last time. That's my next uh, trigger point. <laughs> oh my goodness! So. Um, I took a shower right before I got went live because all my days are running together and I was like I have not showered since Wednesday <laughs> morning <laughs> and it's Friday night and I know I haven't like gone and done anything but just getting that ish off and I was gonna shower earlier today um, but my daughter showered first and we have an okay hot water heater, but it's 15 years old, and so we have to space out showers, like long showers if we want. So then I waited about 20, 30 minutes after her shower, got my towel, got my clean clothes, and then all of a sudden the dishwasher's running. And I'm like, oh, I'm not going to have enough hot water. I'm going to get in there, and then it's going to hit the hot cycle. And I'm not going to have the hot cycle. <laughs> and you're going to hear me yelping. <laughs> oh. Hey, Rebecca. Good to see you. And Kaya Rose. I haven't seen you in a while. 
Hey Brian, what's up? What's up? I'm hamster wheeling. I don't see it on my side. Is everybody getting a hamster wheel? <laughs> I I feel like I'm live. So I I don't know. You guys tell me. Okay, we are done with the little green dots and the white circle and the red frame. Okay. Let's see. Let's go with C's. C, C, C. Oh. Where are you, C? Right, right after B. Oh, look. Very funny, honey. 30. There we go. I see you. So, oh, we've just been having a blast. I have been working about 9 to 4 from home. I've been doing some telehealth training, got all that set up today so that next week I can start doing that. The issue is um, my clients, because they don't speak English, because most of them don't have internet, they rely on the WhatsApp and Wi-Fi when they're out and about. And so trying to communicate to them how to use telehealth for therapy is very interesting. <laughs> so we did end up figuring out a way that it can be by phone only. So we're asking them to do the call-in option instead of the video link option. And I will have the video and just accept them into the call-in. So I'll be talking to myself, like, as far as not having anyone on video. Um, but they'll be in as an audio, and so will the interpreter. So basically, it's a three-way call, but in order to bill, I can't use a phone. I have to go through this telehealth don't ask me why, because then they turn around and go, well, the phone is just, as long as you're not using an app and you're just using a phone line, it's just as HIPAA compliant. So I don't know. Maybe it's because there's like a paper trail that they can see a call was actually made. Who knows? So I spent most of the day doing that, and then I had to take an 80-question test for some continuing ed credits. Um, so... That hurt my brain. Now you know what I'm feeling. Uh, Kathy Gibbs is going for the Cherish Cat from DAC tomorrow. Yeah, that was looking pretty good. Hey, Bianca. Beth, hi. Creative Mayhem. What? Do I honor this surprise? She's all like, I'm home. I have a hot spot. I'm alive. I was in the middle of your live replay creative however it doesn't show up I'm subscribed to you and it doesn't show up I, on my list I have to go to your channel and then I have to go to your live like playlist it's not even on the main page but I found you I hunted you down so but she has some fun things to say. Go so check her out after my live. <laughs> Please don't leave my live. I need you. I need to talk to people. I almost did a stream yard just so that I could bring people in and actually hear voices back instead of the peanut the gallery <laughs> and the voices in my head. Because you guys do know I have the peanut gallery sitting here. Commenting on everything I say. And you have a snoring dog. <laughs> Alright, try to walk to the kitchen. <laughs> oh, I found the most funny... Okay, I, I gotta look this up. If you guys need a good laugh, I think it's called Dry Bar Comedy. It's on Facebook. And there's... What they do is they take comedians full sets, like their hour-long show, and they give you anywhere from three to ten minute clip, like one story that they tell. 
And so then that part's free. If you click on the link, you have to pay to subscribe. But I've, um, be, I'm a subscriber or follower of their Facebook page. And so I can go through and listen to these three to ten minute. And they had one today. OMG. Hi, Kim. That just cracked me up. Um, right, Brian? <laughs> Social interaction. So they had one that was called um, something about dire... Like two dire two burritos or something like that. And when I was listening to the guy talk about it, I was like, oh my gosh, this is Crashly's story about her gallbladder. I was laughing so hard because I kept inserting Crashly's voice into the story that he was telling. And it was about how he was traveling home and he had eaten a bad burrito and it was causing him stomach pain. And so he came up with the idea of why not eat another burrito that's good because that will force the bad burrito out. Um, and then he ended up getting on a plane after having two burritos. And then he was talking about the like shuffling to the bathroom, holding your buns together. <laughs> He um, switched over that he was in pain and he was trying to do, he googled um, how to fart because <laughs> he thought if he could just fart he would feel better. <laughs> it was so funny. I'm sorry. It was, I was dying. <laughs> but it ended up being that his appendix he was about to explode so he ended up going to the ER and you know he made this joke about how they saw the two burritos and not really but they told him that his appendix was about to burst and they needed to do emergency surgery and oh my gosh and then they needed to like they were telling him about the laparoscopic procedure and how they come in from the left side to get to the right side and how they had to <laughs> pump him full of air and so he was joking about being pumped up like a pool toy <laughs> it just you guys gotta go check it out <laughs> it was just like unbelievable I was laughing so hard I did not want it to stop Oh my goodness. So I sent the link to uh, Ashley and Creative because I was like, is this not similar to Ashley's story and her love for burritos, her love-hate relationship with burritos. Sorry, Ashley. <laughs> oh. Okay, Bianca is leaving for a few. She's got to bathe one of her children. Yes, creative. Squeeze it like a balloon. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Brian's saying, I googled where can I buy jasmine and sage, and Google popped up in the first search bar, where can he buy toilet paper? I don't think we should be able to be allowed back out in public until the hand sanitizer situation is under control. Um, Purell is saying they're upping and, and making it as fast as they can. But I'm not seeing any of it in the stores. I'm hoping it's going to the hospitals um, because that's where they need it. First, because if I'm home, I can use soap and water and that's best anyway. So I'm I'm good with that. Good, good, good with that. And I was so excited there. I live in Grand Rapids, the home of Amway, and they are they converted their makeup distribution center um, factory, and they are making and donating um, hand sanitizer to our local hospital 
without even being asked. And I love how people are coming together. Right, creative? Like, seriously, I will never be able to picture... All right, you're going to hear a beep. I'm turning my heater off. So I can't hear myself think. Well, Rajul, it's, it's pretty scarce here trying to get toilet paper online. So, but the stores are now being re... Now that everyone feels like they've hoarded enough, at least here on the west side of Michigan, toilet paper is making a comeback, a comeback into the stores. <laughs> Jamie's going to try Victoria's Moon. Go for it, Jamie. I hear that they've updated based on all of our feedback, which is really nice. I love when companies listen. But it's hard. Like, they've already created a lot of product. And so, us, we just need to give some companies grace on implementing our feedback, right? <sighs> okay. Let's see here. I'm still doing C's. Hey, Lizzie, what's up, girlfriend? What's up? You have this weekend off, don't you? Are you excited? I'm excited. I do have to do a few things tomorrow because I'm a little short on hours because um, when my, I, it must have been Wednesday when my back went out. I laid down for about two hours, um, so I want to make sure I get all my 40 in. It's not good to cheat anything, so I'll have to write a few reports. I did do one therapy session today, so I'll write that report, and I have to figure out some other things, so... I've got plenty of work to keep me busy. Okay, so... <laughs> let's see. Rebecca just stuck her sweater arm into her painting. Black butt. Oh, Rebecca! Kathy's daughter ordered uh, her a Keurig Elite coffee maker. Her birthday was Wednesday. The pot, coffee pot will be here Tuesday. Woohoo! Awesome. Lizzie's just going to dime a paint and listen to trains and refrigerators, right? Beth, they still have a TP shortage. Creative is saying, baby, wipe it. <laughs> um, it should be okay, Rebecca, until you get baby wipes. Should be fine. Kim saying hi to Lizzie. Well, Kat, I can move now. Um, I'm still in pain, but at least I can wipe my behind. And I'm still very slow going up and down the stairs. I really need to just go to the Cairo, I think, my hips out, which then causes my lower back to go out. Um, so, I'll get there. I've had this feeling before. Hey, Frog Pod! I'm so glad you could join! Good to see your name again. Oh no, D Baker didn't make it to the kitchen. What did you do, D? Did you just stand there? Do I need to order you something from Amazon? Will it get there faster? How funny would that be? <laughs> you answer the door and... <laughs> the guy's standing there with a glass of water. Did you order a water with ice? <laughs> like, yes. Thank you. Is there anybody at home, Dee, that you can ask to grab you something from the kitchen? Hey, Cynthia, welcome. D. Baker didn't, get, oh, he didn't even get out of bed. Oh, I'm so sorry. Just 
breathe, just breathe. You got this girl. You got this. You're going to feel so much better when all this is said and done. That's the hope, right? Get this taken care of. And be good to go. All right. Um, Frog Pond finally finished making another zippy bag with Princess Anna design on the front. Nice. That sounds amazing. Frog Pond, do you, are you a member of our uh, Creative Craft Addiction? You could post it on there so we all can see. <laughs> D Baker wanted to get her. It hurts so she'll be fine. She has drinks and flaming hot Cheetos. <laughs> yes, go over to Creative Craft, Craft with a K, and um, Creative Craft Addictions. And it's um, the group for Creative Mayhem, Crashly, and I. And yeah, post what you're making. It's about craft, like all crafts. So sewing, crochet, cross stitch. Hi. Diamond painting, regular painting, paper crafts, scrapbooking. That's why we did it so that you guys could just explode your curiosity and your love for crafting. And I don't have a lot of moderators in tonight, but if somebody wants to throw the link in, that would be great. Otherwise, I believe I have it in the description as well. Or you can search for creative craft with a K, K-R-A-F-T, addictions. Don't forget to answer the questions because the three of us have a binding agreement that you need to answer the questions. <laughs> Especially the one about group rules, which are pretty standard. Okay. All right, let me see if I can pull up what I was thinking of doing tonight. Just give me one minute. Do, 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 do. Oh, that didn't work. Do, 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 do. All right. Okay, I have a question for you guys. Would you rather have a dog with a cat's personality or a cat with a dog's personality? <laughs> Thank you, Jamie. It's Harbor Freight. Um, I love it. It's Advertises a 25 piece because they consider this big container a piece, which I agree. And then there's 24 containers inside. So two containers is up to 48 colors. Brittany is saying hello, just working and lurking. Ooh, I need to write that down. Working and lurking. I just finished, I have one more thing to submit for the book, but I, okay, this is one of the questions after the would you rather that I want to ask you guys. Okay. Um, all right. Catla's Books. This is Diamond Art Club, The Sweet Life by Chuck Penson. It's the covered bridge. I'm doing it for my grandmother. She and I used to, when I was younger, I would go stay for a week every summer. And then we also, the, our family of four, my parents, sister, myself, lived with them for two years while my parents were saving up for a house. Um, and they have a covered bridge in their small town, and so we would walk to it, and I would find 
lizards and tadpoles and just different things like that. And so I thought I would do this for her. Her um, birthday is end of May. So I wanted to get this done and then I've got to figure out a, a good way to frame it for her. Frog Pond said she'd like both. Crashly missed the would you rather question. Would you rather have a dog with a cat personality or a cat with a dog personality? So cat love books is a dog with a cat personality. Suzanne says a cat with a dog. Kathy says both. Beth says she already has a cat with a dog's personality. Kratos is a dog with a cat's. Yvonne says her older cat already growls and barks. <laughs> Frog Pond, you can um, do it to creative craft addictions. Let me see you just a second. All right, I approved a Cindy. Okay. Hey, Mindy, glad you could make it. It's Smurf in there. <laughs> yes, you, Crashly, you missed Lizzie coming in. Jamie says a dog with a cat personality. Frog Pond says she swears her kitties act like dogs sometimes. They follow her everywhere. Cynthia says dog with a cat. D. Baker says, I have both. The dog with a cat personality is funny. <laughs> Crashly says, I already have a dog with a cat personality. Lizzie says, dog. Just a dog. <laughs> Thank you, Rebecca. I did see that. I appreciate it. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so my question to you is, um, I developed diamond painting, so DP lingo in my book. And I have several, as I wrote it, I did like a little side, like this is what something means. And I forgot the lurking and working. And then I need to do the whip for work in progress. See, these are things like we know just by being in the community for a long time. But, um, oh, awesome. Let me see. Go see, Brian. See what we got going on. Oh, wow, Brian, you are doing amazing. That is really coming along. He posted a picture. Yes, wax boogers. <laughs> Woburners. Oh, my gosh. Okay, novelty bits. I talk about um, tags like on the side of drills, but I will put down knobbly bits. Like I did phantom drilling. Um, so I've been putting some of them on Crashly and um, Creative. I've changed the Friday thing. I'll message you, but I changed it to um, DP Lingo. But um, what kind of things would be a good lingo thing. Mindy, I don't know. I haven't diamond painted in a while. I diamond painted last night for like two hours. I think it's just I'm so task oriented. I just do. Um, let me think. I did, what else did I do? I did a lot of things. Hey, Christy, good to see you. Brian, it'll be available by um, Amazon and then a couple other places. They're still figuring out where it's going to go. Um, I just did... Okay, this is no pictures, single spaced, um, one inch margins. Like, I think it was 10 pages of tips and tricks. And there's tips and tricks all through the book, but just like one section. Um, I'm trying to think of, oh, my brain just went dead on things that I put in there. But they're just things we talk about. Hey, Tammy. 
So phantom drilling, okay, so this is how I, and that's, and you know, it's very individual for everybody, but phantom drilling to me is you go to place a drill and the drill has fallen off. Either you didn't pick the drill up or it's fallen off at some point. So then you like go to stick it down and there's nothing there. Yes, that's color blocking. I got that. Frog Pond, if you scroll up, um, Rebecca actually put um, the link above. And yeah, um, confetti. I have confetti and I have color blocking. I also have um, cross country. I'm writing it down so I remember. Um, I just put crunch, crunch, country with an R. Crunched key. I don't even know. I just did it again. <laughs> country. Um. I did a cover minder. That's a really good one. Um, and I even have pictures explaining like how to attach it, what it's used for, um, opaque versus clear covers. Um, I also explain a lot of things while I'm explaining it. Um, let's see, knobbly bits, tags, spurs. Ooh, spurs, I haven't heard that, but I did know the tag, so I'll include that. Reverse painting. Oh, Michelle, that's a good one. Reverse painting. I'm going to write that down. That is excellent. I don't know what you call the last real city. Hey, Wolf Pack. Oh my goodness, I thought you died last night. I kept checking every like 10 minutes. Many times I'm lurking on yours because I'm like being active in the house. How are you doing? Ooh, checkerboarding. I think I have that um, when I explain how the different ways to lay down square drills. Guys, I tried to be detailed and I know I probably forgot everything and there's gonna need to be like an addition to it. <laughs> Ooh, de-kitting. That's a good one. I did explain kitting up. The de-kitting. Brian, you're on fire tonight. Kim says cat with dog. All right. We are trying to think of DP lingo. I did do the wax boogers. Um, I think I said that... Um, I think I did dummy circles, but I'm going to write that down just to check because I've been writing this book for like six months. Dummy or training wheel circles. This is my week to like go back through and make sure everything's good. I did, I said pen squishy and I explained all that, but I didn't like use it as a DP lingo. Um, and I did talk about the drill straightener. I talked about the drill rulers. I did talk about reloading the pen, how to do it with the tweezers, how not to poke your eye out or prick your thumb. I did talk about the static drill. I talked about the oily drill. I talked about baby wipes. Ooh, AB. I do talk about AB, but I didn't separate it. So that's a great DP lingo for separate. Ooh, Beth, gridded versus no grids. Yes, Canvas Rivers, I did talk about bubbles, rivers, and um, puckers and I then took pictures of how I fixed them and explained how to fix them. Uh, 
and you guys have been my inspiration for a lot of these watching your videos and seeing what we suffer Ooh, drill washing crashly I did that and I talked about the vacuum I also talked about how to vacuum with a sock or a nylon or a bandana disrespectful confetti <laughs> no I did not say bubbles <laughs> That's funny. Oh, I'm trying. I'm trying. I hate writing, you guys. You have no idea. I asked the publisher, I'm like, can't, can't we just send out a DVD of all my videos? Because <laughs> it is driving me crazy. Um, so I wrote, when I first started, I wrote two chapters to get feedback on. The first chapter I wrote, like, very professionally, all in third person. Like, one puts the pen down this way, and then when one buys, and it was like tedious, I hated it. And the second one, I um, changed it to you and I statements. So, when you lay this down, and then I entered something like, um, when you, um, then you hear the psycho music in the background, the psycho knife music. And he was like, I love that one so much better. He's like, switch over. So then I started writing and it was a li little bit better. Um, my big thing is I have about 10 photos I'm short on that I didn't think to get. So I have an emergency... Can you help me this weekend? If not, I'll figure it out and I'll do it myself, but it, I, I've got to figure out how to make it look professional. So I reached out to the photographer who's a friend of mine and said, um, I'm not sick. I've been stuck in the house for seven days. Can I come over? Can you take some pictures? <laughs> oh, ooh, frog pond. That's a good tip. Baby powder. Yes, I did crashly. Stabbing. Stabbing is a good one. Thank you. I did talk about, in my tips and tricks, I talked about standing up, stretching, back pain. I talked about different uses of pens, um, when to know to change your pen, um, wrist pain, finger pain, arthritis, neck, back, butt pain. your DAC pen today, Cynthia. <laughs> you know, maybe I did do that, Ashley. Um, the whole book, I really wanted to put DP and I keep having to change it back to Diamond Peeny. And then I decided when I wrote the book to say, use the word diamonds instead of drills, but I say drills. And so, oh my gosh, I kept having to do a search and find and replace <sighs> Seriously. <laughs> Intervention, exactly. <laughs> well, Crashly, you are featured. You are featured in the back of the book. Beth, you are featured in the back of the book. Um, for top Etsy shops that I like. Um, there's other people that are featured in the back of the book. Yeah, so I have actually a whole section of recommended um, vendors to purchase from and why I recommend them. Um, <laughs> yes, frog puns. Okay, Caius is drilling surfaces, flat angle, drafting table. Yes, that's a good idea. I do talk about easels and different things like that. Um, Frog Pond says, oh yeah, DP, pen addiction and cover minder. I do talk about how I need to write a whole nother book about DP pens and cover minder addictions. Um, Crashly says, Curran tries to argue with me about how they're not drills. Finding drills in weird places. Brian, what is the weirdest place you have ever found a drill and keep it PG? <laughs> Hey, Mindy. 
What's, oh snap, what happened? Oh yay, Frog Pond found us. The search is complete. And all the questions were answered. You have been approved. <laughs> White pads are in there. Absolutely, I talk about A4s, A3s, A2s. I talk about dimming. I talk about plugs, what plugs to get versus what not to get. Pros and cons of those. I do talk about special drills. I talk about partial and full, square and round. I talk about different types of canvases, different sizes of canvases. Um, I, I talk about how to custom order. Talk about canvas sprays. But pads are sitting long ears. I do, I do have I do have a whole section on accessories. I think it's like without pictures, eight pages long of different accessories and why they're fun. Um, so the way the book is is the first section is like three chapters long, and it's what is diamond like? Who am I? And um, why like? Why did I get into diamond painting? Number two is, what is diamond painting? Um, and number three, chapter three, is the therapeutic um, reasons why diamond painting um, exists. Like, how does it help us therapeutically? And why is that addiction so real, but yet so peace-giving? Um, and then the second session is basically going through every tool we get in a kit and explaining that tool. So, you know, the the diamonds, what are they? The different types of diamonds, the different sizes, the, the little issues with diamonds, um, you know, how to place them, the different facets, what AB is, oh my gosh, whole chapter of diamonds. Then the trays, and then the pen, then the canvas. Um, then the wax, there's six chapters in there. Um, the tray, the pin, the canvas, the wax, the drills. Why am I missing? What else am I missing? There's six chapters. Yes, concave drills. <laughs> Facets, faucets. <laughs> Cynthia's cat's poop sparkles. <laughs> okay, I gotta go back and read this. Okay. Um, yes, dummy circles. Do you know what a dummy circle is, Kaya? Beth found one on the bottom of her foot. Yes, I talked about wrinkles. Um, bottom of big toe and also in dog's tummy. <laughs> Oops, left. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Cat Loves Books, celebrate! You got an A2 light pad. That's awesome. Cynthia's cat poop sparkles now. Hey, Narita, welcome! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mindy has a jumper! Oh my god! Margarita type. No, I don't have that. That's a good note, Frog Pod. I'm doing Cherry Coke right now. Although I need to go to the store and make sure I get some of those. Crashly, I do talk about um, favorite YouTube creators and binge watching. Robert, it's so good to see you. Well, to see your words. I'm not a stalker. I'm not standing there looking at you. Okay, I have to blow my nose. Sorry, guys, there's no pause button. One second. <clears throat> so sorry. Ooh, Fuji Apple Saki. Turbo Joe. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, you guys were amazing. Thank you so much. That was awesome. 
Back to the drilling. Woohoo! Size matters. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Size does matter sometimes. Depends on what you're talking about. Depends on what you're talking about. Okay. Gents <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I should put that in there. How would you define that, Crashly? <laughs> Poor Crashly. She has to put up with me. I'm always like, I haven't heard from you yet. It's like 2 p.m. Are you okay? <laughs> She's like, I'm fine, Jen. I'm just busy. <laughs> I'm like, I'm so needy people which I am an introvert so I thought this would be not as bad as it is but I realized I at least need a little bit of socialization crazy 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 I think it's like that lack of control that bothers me and so I've been talking with my clients about, you know, what is that, what's going on, just kind of, because they're being triggered. Most of my clients are refugees. They've gone through this in a refugee camp. To them, this, this is real. And so we've just been talking a lot about, you know, things we can control and not control. Okay, so I have a funny story for you guys. <laughs> you run out of videos. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, Robert, that is in the um, therapy section. I talk about an introvert versus an extrovert and how we get our energy from quiet time and it, an introvert doesn't mean you don't enjoy people. It just means you tire. You don't get your energy from people because people, I'm an introvert, but they're like, but you like being with people and you talk a lot. Like, oh, I found out that an introvert can't talk a lot. But it just means that you renew yourself by being quiet, you know, either reading or diamond painting or crafting or going for a walk or exercising by yourself, just kind of that renewal time. And extroverts, they get their renewal time from being with people. That's how they get their energy. And being alone actually drains them. What, Mindy? No way. No way. Crashly says, Jen explaining when your thoughts are all over the place and you're talking completely in utter craziness and then explain to you <laughs> practical manner. <laughs> well, Crashly, you do, you do that for us too. You know? <laughs> Painting snob. I know. What's up with that? It's like, seriously, why watch a diamond painting video? Because aren't we supposed to be talking on the video <laughs> isn't that the whole point <laughs> all right I have two on my pen and I don't want to flick it off <laughs> oh Yvonne yes it was great thank you you are so full of love we appreciate you all right, so you guys ready for a, a funny story? So um, I go to church, and our church has decided to go to live streaming, and they stream anyway, um, but they decided to do only streaming right now until everything settles down. And But the youth group was also canceled. And so the youth leadership decided they were going to get together and instead of streaming, which is what I thought they would do for youth group, they decided to um, do YouTube Live. Now, 
how many of us hands raised have experienced glitches hamsters issues with YouTube live and we just have to like deal with it right and I when I saw that I just had this premonition of oh my gosh <laughs> They are not going to know what they're going to do because they're very structured and they're very used to like production, like everything going like, um, Crashly, I thought you said Robert's kids were making you crazy. I was like, girlfriend, don't be talking about my girl that way. <laughs> Welcome back, Jamie. Um, so I'm like, this is not going to go. So my husband and my daughter set up the TV so she could watch the YouTube live instead of having to watch it on like a little, you know, iPhone or tablet. And so we're sitting there and it's playing like the intro music, right? And all of a sudden they get on and they decide that they're going to do an introductory video. Um, this is something that they normally do when in person they'll put some fun video up on the screen while the kids are coming in and while they're settling down and it's just kind of the leaders doing some fun prank on each other or like guess the song something like that so <laughs> they play this video and then all of a sudden the feed cuts like it literally says something's wrong something went wrong this content has been they, they played music in the live and it got cut <laughs> like right then and there right so you're imagining hundreds of students watching YouTube live and then all of a sudden nothing and so I I'm sitting here and I tell my husband peanut gallery right I'm like um they just played some music right um, they probably were copywritten, tagged, and they removed. Now, why I think this is an issue right now, more than it is a couple months ago or even weeks ago, is YouTube made an announcement that due to what's going on, a lot of, they have transitioned the copywriting, monitoring, and the monitoring of videos more and more to their computer system you know the little what do you call it robots that go through and analyze if there's copywritten material rather than people and so when it was people doing it for the most part you could pretty much get through your whole live and then when it was processing is when they would like check you does that make sense well now, because they're doing the automatic way with the robots right now, um, every time I say that I think like, oh, the robots are taking over. Um, I'm sure that's why I got tagged right away. So you have hundreds of kids watching and then they get cut. So my husband texts somebody he knows and was trying to explain, as I'm explaining to my husband, the things that we've learned as a community, right? Um, of you can't use this material and they're like well we bought it it's licensed like we paid for it and I'm like okay when you buy it it still doesn't translate over to YouTube <laughs> you have a right to play it but you don't have a right to like broadcast. broadcast it and so here we are through texting in real time trying to explain these rules while kids all over Michigan or West Michigan are waiting for this program to go live again. So it took them about 15 to 20 minutes to reset everything and then they were able, I don't even know, Lydia, how did it end up going? I think they were there and they just set something up and just started They going. did the teaching only. Okay, so I guess they like recalibrated and just plant, did the teaching straight. But I'm sitting here like, oh, why wouldn't you as a leadership team, like at least read how to do it, not only how to do a YouTube live, but ensure that these videos, welcome back, Bianca. So I just thought that was funny that things that we do as a community, we were able to give back people. All of the things that we have found 
helped a whole community of leadership. <laughs> I don't know. I was just like, oh. <laughs> so anyway, they were able to get through and, and get the teaching. And I have a feeling they are going to refigure what they're going to do next week. And just do it for the church. Yeah, Narita, they, that's why you two put out the, um, the letter to uh, the creators just saying, like, due to switching to this, things that would normally you could ask for special review will not be reviewed currently. Because I had one of my lives um, was tagged, and there literally was nothing in that live because I don't play music. There was nothing, and so I just clicked on, this was a couple weeks ago, I clicked on please review, and within like 10 minutes, the live was posted. <laughs> Bye, Jamie. Have a good night. We'll see you later. So as people are leaving, don't forget, we have our Creative Craft Addictions Facebook Um Behind the scenes, Creative Mayhem, Crashly and I are thinking about fun, creative ways to help you guys deal with being at home. We're thinking of scavenger hunts. We're thinking of craft projects with toilet paper rolls. Um, we're just thinking of a lot of fun things. So please go over, check out the Creative Craft Addiction Facebook. It's working its way up. Um, when we hit 200 subscribers, Crashly, do you want to tell them what's going to happen when we get to 200? You're going to get to 201. So that is our next celebration point. There's a giveaway! Do, 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 So I know you guys are probably on a million other Facebook groups, but we are designing this Facebook book group to be like so community based. Um, we have things like planned on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We have a spring cleaning thing coming up. Oh my gosh, guys, I forgot to do that. <laughs> I'll do that this weekend. Um, something fun cooking is hot there. <laughs> You're okay, Mindy. You can use something else. <laughs> Maybe you could use that rooster thing. Um, so yeah, go, um, we're going to do something fun, like spring cleaning, and the, I'll give you, since you're in the live, I'll give you a little sneak peek of what it is, because I'm going to be doing a Facebook live. Yes, you are going to be able to see my face, people. Yes, if you want to see my face. Um, it is my first official show my face to the community. I know I've shown it on Crashly's video, and I know I was on Mindy's video, but this is real life, like, hey, this is me, this is Jennifer. So, um, but what we're going to, a sneak peek for spring cleaning is starting the first day of spring, which I think was yesterday, so technically this weekend, we are going to show a picture of our craft area pre-spring cleaning. And it can be a craft area or it could be a thing that you really just want to spring clean. Like your, um, I just lost my train, like your spices cupboard, you know, that you've been dying to spring clean. Or clean. your Tupperware drawer or your bedroom closet. Um, but you're going to take a picture of that and you're going to post it. I know it's scary, people, but I'm going to post mine too. And then you will have until, um, I, th I can't remember what we decided, but I think it was like the first day of spring break or the last day of spring break. I got to look at my notes, but I think it was like three weeks total to clean that area. And then we're going to post a before and after. Woo! And you guys can see the before and after areas of what we're spring cleaning. So we're going to keep each other accountable. We're going to do weekly check-ins. Um, and we're just going to have a lot of fun with spring cleaning. So this group, we're hoping to really be community-based. Please check us out. Um, please sub 
follow us if you want to say subscribe, but follow us, give us your ideas. We're always looking for new, fun, inventive ways, and it's for every craft, diamond painting, you know, clay, paper, you name it. But I'll be doing a um, Facebook Live at some point this weekend um, in the group. So it won't be through my channel or anyone else's channel. Um, in the group explaining how we're going to do this. So I hope you like that idea. I don't know. I just thought of it a couple weeks ago. and um, So that's the sneak peek. But I'll be doing a Facebook Live to show you guys. <laughs> so Crashly says... Uh, um, oh, Beth says she's got toilet paper seeds. Yes, those are, I love those memes that are going around. Um, Cynthia says something about Klingons. I must have missed something. Crashly says, OMG, cleaning, boo, y'all will never look at me the same once you see how messy mine is. I think I might clean some of mine during a Facebook Live so you can be with me when I find hidden craft treasures. Ooh, that sounds fun, Crashly. Um, I would definitely check that out. So, um, but yeah, so check everything out. Thank you guys so much for coming tonight. Give me a thumbs up on your way out and, um, I will see you guys later. Um, also, um, tomorrow or Sunday, I will be posting the spring collab with Lizzie's World of Gems. So check that out with the pink raspberry and don't forget to go over and comment from last week's video um, because you might be a finalist towards the grand prize. So love you everyone. Have a great night and now I'm going to try to jump over my craft desk and turn off my phone. So take care. See you guys later. Bye bye.